Rub up your engines! Now, if you're disgusted at the price of new trucks, customer came here a few weeks ago. He said, I'm not gonna buy this new Ford truck. It was 81 grand for an F-150, right? Well, this guy bought this one used. He paid $24,000 for it with 62,000 miles on it, and it's got what he wanted. It's the V8 non-turbo extended cab. He's been happy with it. He's had it for a year now. Of course, you had me check it out before, but he didn't know me then, so he can't do that. But he hasn't had any problems with it whatsoever. We're gonna go through to see if he got a good deal. I'm assuming he did. He said he hadn't had any problems with it. This is why a lot of people are buying used vehicles with the insane price of new ones, four of them would cost what a loaded new one costs. And this is a V8, this isn't a tiny engine. Now, one of the reasons he bought this is under the hood. Nice five liter V8, not turbocharged, with that crazy 10 speed transmission. There was a one that was a joint venture between Chevy and Ford, then it all fell apart. This thing can get 22 miles a gallon with a V8 engine, truck this big. Yes, occasionally he said when it's cold, it'll ship funky between one and three. It'll, it'll skip second and go to third. I'm telling him he can go get it reprogrammed. Other than that, he didn't really have any complaints because it does get really good gas mileage. The newer ones, they seem to got most of it out, but a lot of times they can reprogram these older ones. It doesn't have any problems other than that. And it does get phenomenal gas mileage for a vehicle this size. And as you can see, and if the F-150s are made for V8s. See, it's not a working room in the front if you have to do something. It's not like you can't access the engine. It's totally accessible because these things were made for V8 engines. You can see it's four years old. The interior is in immaculate shape. And look, since it's a little older, it's got an actual key, hurrah! Not this push button nonsense, right? And now he's put 4,000 miles on it. He hasn't had any problems yet. Start her up. We know the hood's a jar. <laughs> Because <laughs> the hood's open. Everything you want. It's got the oil, the water temperature, the gas, the transmission temperature. Normal drive. You can have tow haul. You can have snow wet. And you can have eco and sport mode. I can feel idling perfectly fine, but he wants me to check it out with my giant scan tool. So out it comes. But before we do that, the only thing he doesn't like about it is it's got that stupid stop start, but you can push a button after you start turning it off. Then the next time you start it up again, you got to push the button to turn it off. You got a V8 engine. Can't stand it turn it on and off. And I don't blame him. Just another government horse manure idea about, oh, they get, they get brownie points from the government for having this auto stop system it's just garbage we do a diagnosis detected the vehicle f-150 five liter automatic and away we go guys can do a full topology scan so away it goes and while it's doing it we'll look around a little more lots of space look gigantic back seat got covers for the dog and stuff and you can turn the traction control off if you want it'll warn you on the hood and you can turn off that stupid stop start which we will turn off because I hate that too. Power outlets on it. Organic armrest for big arms. Two of them can fit on this. All right, it's all done. And it's only got two codes. And that's body control module. They'll often have squirrely codes. We'll see what those stupid things are. Now it's a Ford, so it's going to start turning things on and off. While my computer communicates to its communication. It's doing it itself. <laughs> The owner's laughing. <laughs> That's how Fords are. They have systems that run through to see what's happening and they check everything while the machine's running to make sure it's a real code. Tire pressure monitoring, camera module. Well, let's check this out. We'll put it in reverse. Well, the backup camera looks beautiful. Yeah, I can't complain about that. Look at that. Maybe it got dirty or something. We're gonna reset that. Erase those stupid codes. Oh, we'll restart it. And we'll turn off that stupid auto stop stop because I hate that. And we will look at serious engine data. And here we go. We'll look at all this. See what kind of shape everything's in. Tell you what, you can see you can go two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low, all with just the flip of the button. We got all kinds of data. Remember, black's good, red's bad. This is all AC information. All this information for the AC system. Yes, they make them a lot more complex than they used to. Well, camshaft data, that's all fine. Metric pressure, in case you're wondering about the weather. <laughs> Battery voltage, which is fine, it's charging. It even gives you the brake booster pressure. Hey, these are pretty sophisticated. It tells you all the camshaft positions showing there's no faults. If it wasn't running right, you see a fault in one, you know that's the system to check. Pressure, 
control on the torque converter no fault on any of the fuel injectors nice on the electronic transmission system engine oil pressure the engine oil life percentage left ratio on bank one and bank two it's almost perfect 0 0.99 1.00 is perfect so it's only off one one hundredth of a percent fuel pump gives you the fuel pressure even the Ford's are complex now look we'll just whip down to the bottom look look at all this data there is data up the we'll look at the injectors none of them have any faults but I mean it is insane we're still going the amount of data that you can get out of these things look at it it's it's just insanity I noticed the fuel trim was zero which is perfect so let's take it for a spin so here we go in reverse you can see really nice backup camera there you can really see good backup camera this thing idle smooth as can be now since we started and stopped it I'm gonna put it back into sport mode there we go sport mode and away we go it's the f-150 this is where ford makes 90 something percent of their profit last time i checked people who want a big truck with a v8 engine this is what they're looking for it's a modern one so it's got a pretty smooth ride really quiet for a pickup truck too and realize one of the reasons that it gets 22 miles a gallon on the highway it's got a lot of aluminum parts so it weighs less even though it's a big truck it's lost quite a bit of weight i believe it's 700 something pounds we got it to back a road there's nobody coming so away we go we we'll take it to our little drag strip now this is a stock exhaust but it makes a nice sound nothing outrageous but not silence after all people want a little bit of noise out of their v8 pickup trucks so here we go we'll look behind us there's nobody behind us so we will stop and we got a sport mode so here we go this baby moves interestingly enough i didn't even turn the traction control off it took a little while for it to kick in so i let the wheel spin i pass so many we're going forward you'll forward you notice the speedometer moves up pretty quick and i do have to say now the engine is warmed up he said sometimes it goes one to three when it's cold taking off first thing in the morning but it's warmed up when he drove it over here and i don't feel it hunting for any gears yet the transmission seems pretty solid of course realize this too i have it in sport mode let's put it in eco mode okay now we got an eco mode we'll see if it hunts for gears or not keep a steady speed that doesn't seem to have any problems and interesting enough it's not all the time because this morning he said he had an eco mode and he took off and did shifted one two three didn't have any problems or anything so maybe a reprogramming will fix that these things can be reprogrammed a lot of times as they age they need a little reprogramming as they find the wear patterns on these things in the software don't match that well so they got to reprogram them when they get a few miles on them like this and as they age and the newer software gets better and i for one i have that I turned the auto stop off and I will sit here and idle nicely I won't start and then start up again I just don't like those things let's see what happens we'll turn it back on oh it won't turn off because I have the AC on all right okay at least they were smart enough for that don't want a hot customer I guess Ford realizes that and I'm leaving the AC on because it's blowing nice and cold and it's starting to get hotter now spring is here a lot more sluggish in eco mode I'll say that i'm going back to sport mode there we go now it's back in sport mode got a lot more pickup and when we get in the twisties here hey this thing handles pretty good for a full-size pickup truck they have much better suspension systems in them than they used to if you're used to a rattling old ford pickup truck bouncing down the road hey you might be surprised if you road test one of these the funny thing is this guy's wife loves this truck more than he does she called up wanted to make sure i wasn't gonna destroy his truck road testing it <laughs> Now I realize this transmission does have three overdrive gears. That's how it can get 22 miles a gallon on the highway for a truck that's that big and heavy. Unless you're messing with the diesel and Americans really don't like diesels. Okay, so what's my conclusion? Well, if you're disgusted at the idea of paying 81,000 bucks for a loaded pickup truck, maybe do like he did. 24 grand, beautiful truck v8 engine four wheel drive when he wants it two wheel when he doesn't there's always trucks out there right you don't have to buy a new one and i'll tell you the truth of the matter i would take this 10 times over a v6 eco boost engine i don't care what the horsepower rating is on a v8 and a pickup truck is completely different than a v6 twin turbo not only is it simpler but it's going to last longer there's less pressure inside it you're not having turbos ramming in it so hey if the price of these new trucks is getting you sick find a good used one like he did he's happy as can be 
So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.